Scrappers, tool addicts, tool collectors, we are back. So, uh, we had a little bit of stuff to do today. So, that got done. Now we're home. And uh, we got this pallet little flower bed I'm making for the missus. So, we're going to kind of snake it out, kind of level it off a little bit, put up some walls. She wants me to go a foot and a half from the ground. So, like, a foot and a half from here to wherever, you know, it would be. Make, like, a little wall for her to keep... You know to keep the dirt in and then we're gonna got some chicken wire and some wire that was given to me actually by who was it i think gene actually thank you <laughs> we're gonna use some of that chicken wire that you gave me for this build yeah so that's what we're gonna do sit tight everybody put the umbrella up so we can see a little bit better so that's gonna be the first cut right there my granddaddy's tape measure i don't know who makes it looks like it lost the these back in the day i think they came with like one of them it was like a metallic almost like that aluminum uh hvac tape but thicker sticker for the you know the the badging and their logo if any of you know what this might be let me know i do know it's made in taiwan so i don't know um every once in a while my granddaddy would pick up tools from taiwan and he wouldn't be thrilled about it Especially, there's a video I have back where uh, he bought this Craftsman Ratchet. I think it's like, actually, I think it was one of the Memorial Day videos. If you go back into my, back a few years back, um, I told a story about when he bought the Taiwan Ratchet. It was cheaper than the normal Craftsman, and he was shocked. So he bought it, then he got home, and he realized it was from Taiwan, and he was all bent out of shape and stuff. But, you know, he was old school. Taiwan makes some pretty decent tools. Anyway, back to... Uh, now we're gonna make this cut. Y'all, so don't try this at home. We're halfway through the cut. Um, just gotta be careful. <clears throat> you know, I do have a table saw in the basement, and, but I'm gonna be done with this cut in a second. All the other ones should be kind of shorter, maybe? We'll see. I knew that was going to happen. But anyway, oh, let's see what we got here. We're not cutting that one out either. That's something that you don't do. See, that's the public server knows, and everybody, be careful. Maybe, you know, I could have set up the table saw, right? Think about that when you go to make a cut like that. See what happens. Just got to move this wood over a little bit. I'm going to finish it off with my hand saw real quick, but I just want to get it stable here. It doesn't, you know, rip. <laughs> See what happens? Y'all can get in a lot of uh, stuff, man. Yeah. Got it together. I drilled holes, screwed in this way, like a toenail on both sides. And I screwed on either side like three or four screws, probably I think three. Zip, 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 squeeze it together. That's it. And I broke the damn drill bit, but that's okay. Um, it didn't like no pilot hole, so I had to s slice off some of them ones down here with the uh, angle grinder. Yeah, we've got the whole Bauer line out here. Definitely. <laughs> All right, so. Let's get it started. So we got the side wall up. And now we're gonna put a piece down the middle here. It's kind of an off cut for a little bit of stability because I think she wants to put some heavier plants on here. Then we're gonna chicken wire the top, you'll see. Um, and then we're gonna repeat, but we gotta go get more wood. <laughs> we're out of wood. Sit tight. And this one right here is being a pain. So I had to pull it out. I got to put a longer screw in. Sometimes you just got to put a better screw in. Okay. All it needs is a little bit of help sometimes. 
All right, so this is where we're gonna stop for the day. Um, like I said, we did have the whole Bauer line out here. We used the Sawzall, we used the grinder, we used the impact and the drill. Special thanks to Modella, chock full of nuts for holding my screws. And what the hell were these guys' names? I covered it up. Sorry, Modella. Hold on. Case and basket or something pickles for holding the drywall screws. All right, y'all. We'll see you on the next one. This is part one, and uh, we'll do a little series on this garden build. Uh-oh. Mrs. CC Scraps is calling me. Talk about it. What is it? Um, it's my red, white, and blue barbecue sauces. I add a little bit more white. The bark's on that pork. Let's go test it out on one because tomorrow we're going to be having a bunch of chicken. What are the sauces? What's in them? Uh, dragon fruit. There's Inquiring like, minds want to know. Say Alfredo. again. Alfredo. There's a whole bunch of stuff in this. White wine, vinegar. There's blueberries. There's uh, red wine, vinegar. Or both. I can't remember which one I put in there. Apple cider, maybe. Um, All right. But well. yeah. How's that look? Red, white, and blue. It looks red, white, and blue, baby. We'll... Does it? Yeah. Oh, there you go. See, the great thing about um, with being with Mary to Mrs. CC Scraps, Christina 315, is that like a lot of the stuff you see is she'll go through it and meticulously make it and make it and remake it till it's perfect. And it's great to see a little behind the scenes of the testing and everything. Huh, baby? So yeah, there's a lot more to it than just, she doesn't just throw a recipe up. She just, she's, she's meticulous. So tomorrow when you see her videos, this is probably going to look totally different in a masterpiece, right? More than likely, mm -hmm. it's going to look a little different tomorrow. Because I already have a clue of what I need to do in another one. Alrighty. I got to fix up that white. Oh, it's going to be bomb. That's for tomorrow. Um, but we're having the pork tonight. So yes, anyway, special thanks to all of that. And, uh, we'll see you on the next one.